Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, last video I put up was me showing the wall in my uh, garage where my cars are stored, and you know, I had 50 plus RC cars. If you want to go back and have a look at that video, that'd be awesome. Went amazing, super happy with the result on that. Plenty of subscribers, um, plenty of thumbs up, which is awesome. But also plenty of questions about what was missing from that pile. I know there's 50 plus cars, but there's still plenty of stuff that wasn't on there. So that stuff is actually here in my office, which is in the house. Um, I keep my favorites basically inside. And I thought I'd just show you the things that are here, the things that I've just got in, in the house. Um, I don't know how many I've got here, 20-ish. So I'm just gonna run through them one by one and show you what I've got inside. These are my favorite ones, basically. So these are the ones that I've spent the most time and effort on trying to acquire. Uh, these are the ones that sort of mean a little bit more to me and I'll explain a little bit about them each as I go through. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's gonna be the same as the last video, but showing you a few more of my uh, Tamir collection. So stay tuned guys, hope you enjoy. Okay, let's start up the top and I'll work all the way down to the bottom over there. So uh, yeah, basically at the top here, Top Force, uh, one of my faves and yeah, something I've had forever. This is one of the 100th release uh, kits. So yeah, that sits well and truly inside on the shelf. And then the amazing Top Force Evo, just a fantastic version of that kit basically. Uh, I think color scheme looks incredible. It's one of my favorite kits. The low slung body lines and the huge wing. I think that just, yeah, really sets that car off. Again, huge wing, low slung body lines. These two legends. So yeah, the Egress, uh, oh, I just love that. This is actually an original Egress uh, from way, way, way back in the day. So you can see the Dynatech hiding in the back there. Uh, that took me so long to build from parts and build from a rest um, destroyed uh, chassis and kits that I bought over the years, but eventually got it together. It's actually a Team Blue Groove body. It's not an original body, but original decal set. So yeah, a bit of a bitzer, but I guess I could buy a Tamiya body now. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good as it is. I'm pretty happy with the end result. Uh, this is one of the Riri Avantis. Never got one early in the day, no driver. None of my stuff has drivers, to be honest. Um, I just love the Avanti. It's just that Egress is just a great evolution of the Avanti. Just a cool looking kit. Very, very said thin, low slung body, huge wing on the back. Hard to beat, really. Uh, I mean, these are the two legends of Tamiya. This is what really got them going. I think this was the, well, the first four wheel drive for sure, but I'll start this side. So, hot shot. Uh, this is a re release hot shot. Uh, I don't have an original hot shot, but you know, Near enough is good enough, I think, in this case. Um, love the hot shot and the super shot, but this is actually an original super shot, so it's got the Techni Gold in there. Um, yeah, that's well and truly a survivor car. I think whoever built it, built it, maybe used it once. I got this from a guy that actually got it out of Hong Kong. Um, he was an older guy and went there on business and bought it for his kids, brought it back, and they used it, like I said, one time. Um, I think back in the day, they used to build them for you in the hobby shops. So I think that was one of those cases. So I think he went to the shop, bought it, they built it for him and he brought it back to Perth and then it ended up in my collection. But yeah, exceptionally well built and survivor. Imagine getting that through your luggage complete. That'd be a bit of a challenge, I'm sure. Now I've got some chassis down here. Uh, I'll start up at the top. So that is a TRF 417. Uh, I do love the TRF chassis. That's a restoration one. So that was a used chassis that I restored. Next, I've got a TA04 Pro. This was actually my runner drift car, um, which I used for ages and got that all restored and put back together and chucked it on the shelf. I love that, that chassis. I love that, that dual belt drive at the back and stuff like that. That's just so cool. Uh, next, we've got the TB Evo 2. Again, restoration. Uh, found in parts and sort of put it back together. Just, yeah, I don't know if I'm more of a belt drive fan or a shaft drive fan. What do you guys reckon? Which is better, sh belt or shaft? I, well, maybe I'm gonna have to pick belt. I think I like the sound better, but yeah, everyone you know, does like the shaft drives. Next, we've got a TG10 Mark One. I. I have lots of TG10s. I keep ending up with them for some reason and I keep restoring them and I keep putting them on the shelf, but I have stopped buying TG10s because I ended up like I must have Geez, I must have five or six and they're all restored and I just, 
I don't know. I, I like I like tinkering, so I guess it gives me something to tinker with. I don't like running nitro at all. Uh, electric's way, way, way more fun. Nitro just pain in the ass. So they always end up nice and clean and on the shelf and never used. So down here, uh, this is a TB05 Evo MS. It's a bit dark maybe, but uh, yeah, that's a TB05 Evo MS. I might just pull it out, let you have a look. Oh, we've got spiderweb on there, which is fantastic. So yeah, again, I think this was, uh, you know, that's a new, new inbox kit that I built. Um, next, we've got a TRF416 Worlds. Very, very dusty, but needs a, needs a huge clean. But yeah, again, that is a new inbox built kit. God knows how long I built that, how long ago it was, but yeah, it was a while ago, I'm sure. Uh, next we've got, this is a TA06 MS. Very, very cool kit with that inboard front suspension. I think that's awesome. Yeah, just looks amazing on the chassis. Brand new. And lucky last down here, we got a TB Evo 4. Now this was a restoration for sure. I restored the, you can sort of see the wear on the back of the body, on the back of the chassis plate. But I'll use as many new bits as I could find. Just a cool kit. So I have actually a Suricon somewhere in pieces, which I have to finish up. But um, I think I'm waiting for a uh, drive shaft or something like that. There's something I, something I need. I have to pull the box out and have a look. I'll have a little notepad in there of things that I need for it. Um, if you watched my last video, I've seen my one-to-one. -one, so I do have a A86 Corolla one-to-one. -one, so I do have an A86 drift car. Uh, this is a little bit of a runner and there is a TA06 chassis underneath there. Um, love A86 and I do have a 911. I painted a normal body in the Targa roof style just to give it that look of my car. Um, and under there is a TA03S. So pretty cool and this one of my mates did the artwork for me for my car on a skateboard, which I absolutely love. So I've got that up on the shelf. This is a bit of uh, everything on this side here. So some uh, mini four wheel drive stuff over there. Uh, you know, static kits here and some mini Z stuff, which I've got, which is, I sort of run these in my garden every now and then. So Wrangler and Forerunner. And that's a, a little Tamiya short scale. If everyone knows of these things, they're a pain in the ass to put stickers on and I don't really like them, but I do have a couple of new inboxes hidden somewhere. Uh, down here, that's a Toyota TS020 uh, GT1 Le Mans car and a few little bits and pieces. So some wheels and motor and uh, mug I bought when I was at the Tamir shop and just some decals and bits and pieces. And T06 there on a Lamborghini Gallardo body and a couple more Mini Zs. Uh, again, A86 and a Porsche. Uh, like I said, massive Porsche fan. Had a few over the years. Probably get another one soon. Uh, R32 GTR on a, whoop, what have we got? TLO1, yeah, that's an old chassis. But those things ran crazy. Uh, I do love R32s. And down the bottom is scan, scan scorcher, which I, sand scorcher, which I have to glue the driver back on because he's broken off a couple of times from uh, transit. Uh, if you have a look on my Instagram, one of my photos I took down the beach one Christmas day has got the scorcher in it and everyone loves that photo. Oh, I'll get up top here. So Hilux on a three speed. I love three speed chassis. And uh, yeah, I got this off Facebook Marketplace if I don't remember correctly. And I think it was a hundred bucks and the guy had painted the body terribly. So I stripped it all back and restored all that I could and got it sort of back to absolute factory. Uh, one of my absolutely favorite kits is this Bruiser. Just, I mean, this is legend. To me, a legend, definitely. Um, New inbox, I've got downstairs somewhere and I've got this built here. I may have run this on some grass once. I think I did run it on some grass once, but it definitely has electronics in it. So I would have run it for sure, just to have a bit of a drive. But yeah, needs a wiper. I do have a wiper in a box. So I've just got to stick that back on. Um, these are the ones that everyone sort of talks about hoping to get re-released. So 959, uh, yeah. I mean, what can't be said about the 959? Hopefully 50th anniversary kit. Uh, that took me forever to get together. I bought 
tons and tons and tons of broken pieces and slowly, slowly piece them together, but it's all there. It's all correct, it's got the Technigold in it, which is why I have a Celica Grip B. So I bought all the correct uh, Celica pieces. It's got Team Blue Groove body, which I'm yet to paint and go through. I wanna do it justice. I don't wanna rush it. I'm not amazing at bodies. That body probably took me, uh, honestly, maybe three to four months. Um, so have that commitment to just doing this. I, I do want to do it and I will do it. I've got all the correct decals. I've got all the light boxes. I've got everything I need to make that perfect, but I want to make sure I've got the time to make it perfect. So that is a ongoing project for years and years and years. Uh, the Jägermeister 45th anniversary kit there, TAO2 inside. Very, very just awesome kit, amazing looking car. And if you saw my Instagram and one of my previous YouTube videos, this is a little mini I just picked up, M01. Love the minis. That is so cool. I mean, one day I'm gonna buy a mini just for fun. They can uh, locally import uh, Japanese ones with automatic transmissions, so maybe the wife can drive it. So do wanna have it maybe exactly like this with these stickers and livery, that'd be amazing. Uh, what do we got here? 12 scale, this is um, Tamtec. Same as that Tamtec, uh, but this is a later Tamtec, uh, it's 12 scale Valiant. So this is the same kit basically, but 12 scale on the 30th anniversary, uh, which I showed in a previous video, the 49400. Um, we've got a TAO2 short here with the Tyson star card body, uh, original body, aftermarket decals, uh, but correct wheels and everything like that. This is a TAO3S with pretty much every modification you could think of and the PIAA body. These both ran in the Japanese uh, Touring Car Championship. Love the look of that body. I think that's just incredible. Um, yeah, amazing kit. This is actually my very, very first uh, Tamiya kit. Um, so Terrascorcha was one, this was Boomerang was another one. Um, you can see, because I was a kid, I didn't tape the windows. I had to make these black decals on the windows, um, but that's it, that's from the 80s. That's a real survivor, that one. And just absolutely love it. Not enough to dust it, but I do love it. And then that's his brother there, the Super Saber. So obviously we just had another release of the Super Saber, but I like to keep these two together because I reckon they look pretty cool. I'm way more of a fan of the Boomerang than the Super Saber. I think without the wing, it looks a bit weird, but that's um, built from parts years ago before you could actually just go and buy a kit, but I guess that's maybe a little bit more enjoyable to find the pieces and get excited about what you find on eBay and local markets and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, down the bottom here, uh, Datsun Z on TG10 Mark I. Uh, I actually have a Datsun Z that I'm in the middle of restoration. Well, I'm almost at the end of restoration. So I maybe do a video on the channel and just chuck that up about my one-to-one -one cars one day. But yeah, love the Z car. I've had that car for so many years and I've been promising to restore it. I've actually started restoring it in 2017. So I'm coming to the end. It's almost done. And JZ80 Supra on a TTO1. Uh, I've had, well oh God, I've had a few JZ80s, but uh, last one was a white one and I wanted to build something that looks similar to that one. So that's why that's there and on the shelf. Probably shouldn't have sold it. I think I might've sold it right when JZ80s were starting to go off. So. I, did all right out of it, but I reckon I could have done better if I'd hung on to it, but never mind. So that is what's in my office. Oh, hang on, let me go this side. Scania truck, uh, basically doesn't fit anywhere, so I've chucked it there, and my other new inbox, Dynastorm. Uh, that one sits here, so again, suffers from the uh, terrible tire perishing. So I have to get a set of tires one day, but I know they're definitely not glued. But yeah, that's it. That's what's in my office. Well, I hope you've enjoyed me waffling on for 12 minutes about these cars, but uh, yeah, a few on the shelf, and yeah, this is my favorite part of my collection, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thumbs up again, awesome. I'm getting so many views, I'm so surprised. Uh, hit the bell icon, hit subscribe, that'd be amazing, and I'm gonna see you in our next video, which will definitely be an unboxing video, because I think I'm gonna unbox uh, the Mountain Rider. So everyone's been asking about that one. See you guys, thanks for watching. So if you like this video, there's plenty more on our channel that you're going to love. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, check out some of the other videos that we've made. I'm sure you'll like them.